Okay, so I just made my Sassy Metro video and this is going to be a different video. I'm trying to get it all done this week because I know the type of person I am. I'm so lazy. I'm not going to make a video. And I was just like, I'm going to make all these videos and get it out the way now. So I can just relax into my one week update and stuff like that. But so... Um, a lot of people have asked me, I've been MIA on YouTube. I have. I've been really, 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 really sick. I've been so sick. And a lot of people know why I've been sick, but a lot of people don't know. And if you don't know, um, I found out that, <laughs> I found out that I was pregnant on, um, what day was that? February. Sometime in February. February. Uh, let me look at my calendar. February. I keep saying February. February 11th. I found out I was pregnant on February 11th. So basically, I I don't want to say I don't want to say I knew I was pregnant, but. I kind of knew I was pregnant um, because I was spotting and I don't never spot at all. Like my period, my period is not regular. It hasn't been regular for a couple of months. I don't know why. It's just been going from like 30 days to like 35 days back to 28 days. Like it's so irregular. I don't know when I'm going to get on. But um, I was spotting and I was just like, okay, you know, maybe I'm about to get on my period. But um I didn't so I spotted on that Sunday and no I spotted on that Friday and then went away the next day I'm sorry I'm out of breath I went away the next day and I was like okay well I was supposed to get my period but the 12th that Tuesday I don't even know if it was really gonna come but this is what my phone is saying I have the little iPerry app so um yeah it comes February 11th and like my stomach was just hurting and I was just like like it was just so many weird feelings and I was just like maybe I should just take a pregnancy test so I took a pregnancy test and like soon as I took it I got the digital one like soon as I took it it just said pregnant and I was just like oh okay so I mean I wasn't freaking out and I was just like maybe you know because I read stuff like I looked on YouTube of course, the, like stuff like false negatives and stuff like that. So I was just like, let me take another one. So I took a first response and then the line came up. And I was like, you know, this like this thing is playing with me. So then I took another one. <laughs> I took three pregnancy tests because I was just not believing it. And then I was just like, you know, third time's a charm. I'm pregnant. So, yes, when I found out. I was only, I think, like four weeks, like really, really, really early. So the next week, I went to confirm it. So I went to the doctor's office, someplace out in my school, and she was like, "Yeah, you're five weeks or whatever, something like that." I can't remember, but um, anything. Anyway, so I went to my real doctor, and that's when he confirmed. He was like, "Yeah, you are five weeks," and I think he said. Four days, five weeks, no, five weeks since six days. I don't know. I was somewhere in that sort. I don't know. But um, I went to the doctor's office and I came home and he gave me a sonogram. I seen the baby was like so little, like this little. And when I came home, that the next day from my appointment, I was actually six weeks. So I guess I was like five days and seven, five days, five weeks and seven days. I don't know. I was six weeks. I know that. So when I came home, I actually started having red bleeding. I was like, oh my God, you know, I'm probably having a miscarriage. And so I called my doctor back and he was like, well, you know, just put a pad on and uh, see if the bleeding, like if the bleeding sucks up a pad, then, you know, go to the hospital or come back here. So... I went on the pad, I went back, I went to sleep, I woke up and it was no blood. So I was like, okay, well, thank God that stopped. But as soon as I hit six weeks, like when I say I was so sick, so everything, smells, like 
food, anything I looked at, I just felt sick. Like I was sick to my stomach. I didn't even want to look at my roommate because she cooked stuff and it stink and it was just making my stomach sick. Like I was just over it. Like I didn't even go to class. I couldn't get out of bed. I couldn't stop throwing up. It was just bad. And I was just like, if I gotta go through this, I don't want to be pregnant. Like I just don't. <laughs> so um around that time I was still spotting. I wasn't red blood, but it was like a brownish brownish reddish like dark red brown like it was just nasty i'm sorry it's a little bit too much information but i just want to tell you guys but that was going on for two weeks and my doctor told me to come back in two weeks because he saw the spine and he was like well come back when you're eight weeks and to make sure like nothing's wrong and the bleeding stops and stuff stuff like that so i was just going through hell those two weeks um I actually went to the doctors again and I got an IV because I was dehydrated from throwing up so much I was in the hospital and um the doctor gave me some medicine like to stick up my butt and I was like this is not working like I'm still sick so when I went back to him when I was eight weeks I told him I need some different medicine I need to go to work I need to make some money I need to get my school work done it's something that I need to do like something you need to give me so he gave me some other medicine which works perfectly fine I take it sometimes but it gives me a headache so I don't I try not to take I'm taking them at work and I try to take it like two hours before I go to work it says take it every six hours but I take it one time and I keep it moving if I feel sick I walk away, you know, go get something to drink. Yeah, and water, I cannot hold down water for anything. Like, maybe because I have a nasty metallic taste in my mouth at the moment. Like, it's so nasty. What the hell was that sound? Yeah. Okay, well... I have a nasty metallic taste in my mouth. I want to know what the hell that sound was. I have a nasty metallic taste in my mouth, so everything I eat turns, like the taste just goes away and it's just this nasty taste just comes in my mouth. So when I drink water, you know, water doesn't have no taste, so that taste is just stuck in my mouth and it's disgusting. I'm sorry. And I burp a lot and I'm sorry this is so nasty, but I fart a lot too. Um, so when I went back for my eight week appointment, I wasn't bleeding anymore like it just stopped and I was like you know thank you Jesus like who the hell wants to be bleeding and spotting for eight weeks I mean for two weeks like that sucks but I'm still sick like I still throw up all the time I still feel nauseous all the time when I wake up like and most of the time I feel nauseous when I don't eat like if I don't eat something I'm gonna feel sick I will throw up if I don't eat. But then, yeah. So, um, it's certain stuff that I can't eat. It's certain stuff I can't eat. I've made a list of stuff that I can't eat. Uh, I can't eat pineapples, oranges, ice cream, so sausage, turkey sausage, like not turkey, anything. Collard greens, lasagna, milk. So, yeah. Those are the stuff that I know I can't eat. Like, as soon as I put it in my mouth, it it comes right back up. I ate a steak and cheese the other day, and I threw that up. I only ate half of it. I threw it up, and I was like, oh, my God, that steak and cheese was so good. So I went, <laughs> I took my medicine, waited a couple of, and I went back and ate the rest, and I was fine. Like, my medicine really works, though, but it gave me a freaking headache after. So, yeah. So, now, I'm 10 weeks, and, um... 10 weeks and three days i'll be 11 weeks on sunday um what else 10 weeks and three days i'll be 11 weeks on sunday i have oh my next appointment is april 8th i'll be 12 weeks on april 8th which almost out of my first trimester i wasn't gonna tell anybody till i was out of my first trimester because, uh, you know, that's kind of like a safe zone from miscarriages and stuff like that. But I really know so many people out there that felt like my pain and <laughs> what I was going through. And like that could just, you know, keep me motivated to keep going. Because I, 
I used to cry like I would be in my room crying like I don't want to feel like this I don't want to be sick no more I tell my boyfriend I'm gonna cry like oh my god I don't want to feel like this why do I feel like this and you just be like you're just being over dramatic I'm like no and I'm just crying but I was really sick I was miserable I felt like I just I couldn't do nothing like I didn't feel like myself like my hair wasn't done like I was walking around my hair wasn't done like I just nothing about me was me like I just did not feel like myself and which like I'm just starting to feel like myself again like I yesterday I threw up like I, was, I still feel sick but like my body is starting to get used to it now that I just you know I'm just like okay well you know Jasmine you could get up you could Keep it moving. And one thing that really helps me is my prenatal vitamins. I wish I got a subscribe from the hospital. The lady got, gave it to me. But yeah. So um, that was pretty much the news. That we're pregnant YouTube. And yes. I don't know what I'm having. I had a dream actually that I was having a girl. My boyfriend was like no. Well you need a dream that you're having a boy. But my friend actually had a dream that I was having a girl too. I really want a little girl. A little mini me. But if I have a boy. Whatever I have. As long as he or she is healthy, I'm going to be happy, period. So, um, yeah. A lot of people say, I'm 22. Well, I'll be 26 tomorrow. Um, I feel like a lot of people was like, you know, I'm really disappointed that you chose to keep your child and stuff like that. But I feel like this is my life. I only live one life. You know, I feel like coming into motherhood, nobody's ready. You don't know what you're going to expect. But... You know, I have so much support from my friends, my family, his family that, you know, nothing really matters right now but us and the baby. So, you know, I just thank everybody that did not have nothing negative to say that was that supported me through this because it wasn't an easy decision to make. But, you know, it was what my heart wanted to do. So, um, yeah, um. Last but not least, I'm always out of breath, one thing, and I'm always tired. And I don't eat a lot. I eat small portions, but when I can eat, y'all, when I'm saying when I get the opportunity, when I feel sick and eat, I'm going to eat so much ice cream because I really want some red velvet ice cream and I really want to eat some cereal. And like, that's just blowing me that I cannot eat that but I really like sour stuff like I've been drinking lemon juice by itself and I was just like it tastes so good with ice lord I'm about to actually go have some right now but I've been drinking a lot of like sour stuff and eating a lot of sour candy and I went to the store and this lady was like you got you like sour stuff don't you and I was like yeah pretty much but yeah okay I was rapping in this video but I basically told you everything from my five weeks to my 10 weeks so um let me know if you want me to do like a weekly update on my pregnancy because if you do i'll do a weekly video let you know how everything's going i will show you a belly shot but <sighs> that's a little bit too much right now i'm getting there but um i'll definitely post pictures or something when i get you know i want to actually get the little measuring thing that i've been seeing people do but yeah, so that's pretty much it. I wrapped you up in this video. This is probably a long ass video. I'm so sorry, but I love you guys. You guys have any questions, you can definitely ask me. So, yeah. Bye, you guys.